All right, guys, Matt Dean here from Dean Family Acres, and we hit the jackpot at Tractor Supply today. And they actually had marked down all their bare root plants as well as seed potatoes down to 50 cents, um, regularly like seven plus dollars. Dean Family Acres. All right guys, Matt Dean here from Dean Family Acres and we hit the jackpot at Tractor Supply today. And they actually had marked down all their bare root plants as well as seed potatoes down to 50 cents, um, regularly like seven plus dollars. Um, so I went through and found several bare root plants that were still good by either checking inside to make sure they were still green and or scraping the bark. Um, we're gonna highlight in this video, three Patriot blueberries as well as one Northland blueberry. Um, these say they're good till zone seven, which is just a little bit um, further north from us. But I think for now, at least what we'll do is maybe just try and get these started in pots. And if they do well, we might gift them to someone who's actually a little bit further north than us or potentially plant them maybe in a little bit more shady area than um, traditional, just so that they're protected from the sun. So um, with that, let's get started. Um, what we're going to do is actually uh, mix peat moss as well as pine bark soil conditioner um, into these pots with a little bit of um, potting soil, um, and, but mainly it's going to be peat and um, that pine bark soil conditioner. That's worked really, really well for the other blueberries that we've done when we did the suckers. We only lost, lost I think, one or two of those out of probably 15 that we did. So you guys follow along as we get this stuff done. mix some of this with peat and some of this pine bark soil conditioner. Remember that blueberries love um, acidic soil so peat and pine bark soil conditioner are both very acidic. Again mixing these together with a little bit of traditional potting soil got that one and um, I think what we're gonna do is very carefully as we're losing light out here start with the Patriot and they did have a little bit of green growth all right so got this basically bare root all right one down three more to go See that? It's got a little bit of green growth still on it. Definitely check these before you buy them like this. A little bit of roots on there. And be sure and water these in. Sorry we're losing light, y'all. Two. Goes three. We'll get this uh, north one planted up and let you guys see them all later on in the daylight. Thanks again for watching, guys.
These are the blueberries that we planted. Just an update a month or so later. These three are all the same. And then this one is the one that's different. They've all taken and leafed out. Um, seem to be doing pretty well considering what they look like before. I think I'd probably give them a while. Uh, my personal advice would be to buy potted plants if you can do it. Uh, if you live somewhere that you just don't have very many options then you might try and do those bare root like that from tractor supply. But most people around, if you look hard enough, you're gonna be able to find some other potted and or plants that someone is gonna let you dig up. So um, you can see other, other things we got going here. These are raspberries. Um, these trees back here are actually um, acorns that we cold treated and uh, let them grow. They come from a very famous Revolutionary War battlefield. So that's what where those two are from. And we actually had a family member who was there. It's another one as well. It just didn't do quite as well. We've up potted these. These were the best two looking ones. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe, and ring that bell like Mike Tyson did in the 1980s. Y'all have a blessed day. Thanks so much.